Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you would have heard me talk about making changes to the Windows registry or tweaking or adjusting the Windows registry, as I sometimes say. And uh, um, that's when I have posted videos previously and when we are trying to, as an example, enable features um, before they are released or fix problems in Windows or different web browsers, we can make changes to the Windows registry to um, bring about those changes and fix those issues in certain circumstances. Now, um, just a quick recap regarding the Windows registry. Um, to get to the registry on both Windows 10 and Windows 11, I would suggest the easiest way would be to right-click on your Start menu, click on Run, enter Reg Edit, click on OK, and this will open the registry editor. Now, just a quick overview as to what the registry editor is all about. Um, the registry is basically what I would consider to be the brain of your computer. And that's my interpretation of the registry. But a more in-depth kind of summary would be that it's where um, all the data is stored for your operating system to function correctly. And if you tamper with the registry and you change different settings and you basically fiddle around and you do things the incorrect way, you can actually damage your system and beyond repair in certain circumstances where you would have to format and basically do a clean install. But... Um, in a nutshell, the, the registry is a database that stores your settings, your um, options for your actual operating system, and the different apps like browsers and so on, or different apps you use um, in and on your operating system. And uh, um, you would have heard me talk about um, backing up your, regis your registry before we make changes to the registry in previous videos, where I would say, as a safety net, just head to your file and export your registry as a quick backup and then you can always come back and import it at a later stage. Now what I thought we could do in today's video um, is just kind of show you how to do that in case you didn't know because I keep talking about it and I actually haven't shown on the channel how to go about actually backing up your registry and restoring your registry and I know there um, are a lot of you who would know how to do this but obviously there are some who would not know. So just a quick video to show you how you can backup and restore your registry and also specific registry keys in case you were interested and uh, um, obviously modifying or changing the registry um, if you are not comfortable to fiddle around in the registry is not um, is not recommended but as mentioned if you must modify the registry for any particular reason um, then obviously I would always suggest backing up your registry first now to back up the registry the whole registry um, as I as I have mentioned in previous videos um, we go to the file and you just click on export and then obviously you find your download or your location where you want the actual um, registry file to be backed up to. So I'm just going to call my file name um, number one for this purpose of this video. So my registry backup for the whole registry is going to be called number one and then you just click on save and it really takes a couple of seconds. It's already done. And my registry is backed up. Now, if I head to my download location, head over to my file explorer, click on downloads, there is the backup of my whole registry, which is 14.7 megabytes in size. And it says registration entries. And this is actually now my whole registry that's been backed up. So if I fiddle around in the registry and um, something goes bang or um, I mess up something or I, 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 I adjust something that shouldn't be adjusted, um, I can always come back and import this backup and that will replace the registry and then correct those issues um, if I have um, damaged the registry unintentionally. And then another thing you can also do um, before we have a look at how to restore the registry, if we head back to the registry editor, is as an example, I can actually back up um, separate keys, values um, and D words and folders and so on. But just a brief demonstration. As an example, if we head into our HKey current user uh, key and folder, head to software. And as an example, um, I want to back up um, Mozilla. So I want to back up um, registry settings and values and so on regarding my um, Firefox web browser. I uh, click on Mozilla as an example. And this is just an example. You can do this with any key. I click on Mozilla and then I head back to File and I click on Export. Once again, I choose a download location where I can um, save that backup file and entry 
And this time I'm just going to call this number two for the purpose of today's video. And I click on save and it's done. And if I head back to that location, you can see now there's the backup of um, my Mozilla entries, which is only 7.67 kilobytes. So it's very small. So you've just backed up that actual key. Now, if I want to restore any of these, as an example, I have been fiddling, fiddling around in my registry and I have made a mistake. I've entered the wrong value or the wrong uh, D word as an example or whatever, um, value data, and something has gone wrong. I can always come back and I hit to file this time and to restore that backup, I click on import and I go find the download location of my original backups. And as an example, um, I'm going to back up my whole registry and restore my whole registry. So to restore that, I just click on that, click on open, and that will literally take a couple of seconds and that will restore my registry to its original shape and form before I was fiddling around. And you can also do that if you head back to file, import, you can do that for each specific a key or value that you have also backed up by clicking on that relevant entry. So that's just a quick way how you can actually um, back up and restore specific registry keys in Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you are interested, as, as I have mentioned at the start of this video, it's something I do talk about quite frequently on the channel and thought I'd um, for once and for all just make a video so I can actually show you how to do it in case you are unaware. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.